Hey everyone, it's Kim here from Soul Fuelly. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are well and wonderful. Today I wanted to talk about staying close to people who feel like sunshine. You may have seen that meme around on social media or on the internet, you know, stay close to people who feel like sunshine or in some places uh, hang on to the people who feel like sunshine. And I have real concerns about that particular saying that I wanted to share with you today. Because if we're not careful and we follow that directive without thinking about it consciously, it may have really negative repercussions for everyone involved. Hanging on to people who feel like sunshine or staying close to people who feel like sunshine. That means, of course, that we wanna be around people where we feel uplifted and we feel great and we feel inspired just being in their company. And, um, and that's all well and wonderful. I really <laughs> encourage everyone to be around people who uh, lift them up and inspire them, you know, give them hope. Please go ahead and do that. However, we need to be really, really careful when it comes to hanging out with people who always, always make us feel really invigorated and alive and hopeful. When you are in the space of someone who feels like sunshine, they feel like sunshine because they are gifting you an environment where your needs are met. I'm going to say that again. If someone feels like sunshine to you, it is because they are creating an environment in which all of your needs are met. You are being seen, you are being heard, you are being validated, you are being gifted optimism that you need. Uh, maybe you're being given um, a sense of hope, happiness, or um, maybe you feel empowered in that space. Now, you feel that way because the other person is providing that for you. So when you receiving that warmth from someone, you receiving that sunshine from someone is because the other person is giving you that. Really, really important to understand because I, as a recovering and lifelong people pleaser, have often been a person in a relationship that is making way, that is making space, that is giving to people who come into my environment and I know a lot of you will know this where um, there are those of us who go through life and we feel that it is our uh, calling or it is our responsibility or just simply something that we do intuitively is to actually just make way not express our own needs and not sort of make too much demands in the space of our relationships and just give whatever the other person needs when they're in an interaction with us. Like I say, many of you will understand that. Now what that means is those of us who are giving, and I'm growing old and wise and learning not to do this quite so much, but for those of us who are giving, uh, the other person is feeling warm and invigorated and they can often feel like this is the best friendship they've ever had and they always get everything they need from that relationship right so if you have a relationship like that where you walk in and you walk out you always feel better about yourself remember it's because the other person is making way for you they're making space and they are fulfilling your needs why is it important for us to uh, to be really conscious that that is the interaction that's going on that's because it's not always a two-way street so you can walk into a relationship give all your problems over, bring all your doom and gloom into a space. Um, and you know, there's no judgment here, but if we, we do that um, and then walk away feeling uplifted, um, our needs have been met. But what have we given in return? What is the other person receiving in the way of having their needs met? Are they also being heard? Are they also being understood? Is space being made for them to, you know, share their perspectives or, or, or um, just sort of gain a little bit of hope or optimism that they may need in their life? I have had, on a very rare occasion, but a few occasions in my life, I've had to undertake the very painful and very awkward experience of actually untangling myself from relationships that were very very much one way <laughs> where people would come into my space like I say very few of them but would come into my space they would always walk away feeling invigorated they would think we're best of friends because they felt great and I would be left feeling okay I'm empty now you've taken all my optimism 
um, I've sat and listened to you for hours on end and you didn't once ask about me and how I am um, you know uh, I always feel like I have to get off the heaviness of your problems whenever you leave my space and there was no balance in the relationship right what does that mean for us social support networks are absolutely vital for each of us if we want to thrive and if we want strong social bonds then we need to take responsibility for the way that we interact socially with other people so if you are someone like me who tends to give way and make space and the other people are always feeling great it's okay for you to check in and say you know are my needs being met how am i feeling in this interaction uh, because if you are allowing too many people to come into your space where it's one way and it's all about you giving way and you feeling like sunshine for them and them giving you nothing but coldness in return then you are never ever going to truly be able to thrive in the way that i know is possible okay this is a little more difficult to explain but if you're someone who perhaps has a lot of friends who have just drawn away from you who all of a sudden start ghosting you who you think you're the best of friends and then all of a sudden you're not anymore and they're not available and they seem to be you know um, ignoring you or isolating themselves from you I really think it's wise and it's in your best interest to check in and just see what you were giving in that relationship could it be that you were stepping into a space and taking it for granted that you could share everything about yourself and your needs and and your problems and and you could walk into a space into a friendship and be uh, doom and gloom and know that you would always walk out feeling great without ever considering what the other person needed from you it can be a very difficult thing to reflect on but it is well in your best interest to do so because when we become better friends we form better friendships and it is those incredibly strong wonderful friendships that carry us all through the hardest times in life so there you go uh, stay around people who feel like sunshine sure please just make sure that you are being sunshine in return on occasion uh, hang on to people who feel like sunshine Ooh, I really don't like that at all if you're trying to hang on to someone who feels like sunshine and they're pulling away from you the best thing to do is maybe just let them go and then reflect and go well maybe their needs weren't being met and maybe that's what I can consider and maybe that's what I can uh, you know grow within myself and become a better listener and learn to be sunshine myself when I'm around other people so there we go, Kim from Soul Fuelly, a little chat today about staying close to the people who feel like sunshine and what that really means. See you next time, bye.